This is Miss Jessica from Jessica's Art Studio, and I'm super excited. Today I'm going to show you guys all about my April art kit. Um, starting now, for the rest of the year, you guys can subscribe to get monthly art kits. There's a six-month option or there's a 12-month option, so every single month, on the first of every month, a brand new kit is going to launch, okay? So you don't want to miss out on this. You can still buy the monthly um, art kits without subscribing if you want to, um, but you do get discounts for signing up, okay? so. Today's project is right out of my April kit, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this super cute little bird um, in a nest with its little eggs and tiny flowers all around, okay? Um, so for this project, we're gonna need a few things from the kit. Um, two brown pieces of paper. You're gonna find brown pipe cleaners inside. Go ahead and take those out. You're gonna see a bunch of different kinds of stickers, and you are welcome to use any or all of these on this project today. You're gonna need your glue stick. Um, a small container of tissue paper squares, a small container of Mod Podge. This is a special kind of glue, and I'll talk a little bit more about these later. Um, your container of tacky glue, your paintbrush, whatever color you get. You're also going to find some eggs inside of your kit, so take those out and go ahead and close them up like this so they make a whole egg. You're also gonna find a little tiny foam bird. Your color might be different than this one. They're all a little different. So today I have a blue one. And then I also have some feathers inside of my kit that I'm gonna use today as well. And a tiny pair of googly eyes. I've got one big one and one little one that I'm gonna use today, <laughs> okay? Um, extra things that you might need for today's project. Um, a water cup so that you can rinse off your paintbrush in between. And then a piece of cardboard. Uh, I'm going to be using this to build sort of my nest on today, and I'm just using a Bisquick container that I cut up, so this is what I'm going to use for mine. And then lastly, you might also want some markers or something to color on your bird with later, okay? So we're going to start this project off by decorating the base. This is going to be like the grass for our bird's nest. Uh, so I'm going to take my paintbrush, and I'm also going to grab my little container of green paint. I forgot to mention this. Also a small container of green paint. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I'm gonna spread it nice and even across my base. Um, if you have a large piece of cardboard, feel free to make yours bigger if you want to. Give your bird more space. And this is acrylic paint, so do be careful. Make sure that your space is set up to paint. Make sure that you're wearing art clothes just in case you get messy. Again. Okay, so you can see I'm just giving the whole thing a nice even coat of this beautiful green color. And then I'm going to have to let this dry a little bit. So while this is drying, great, looks good to me. Scoot this off to the side. I'm actually going to go ahead and rinse my paintbrush because the next thing I'm going to use is um, my Mod Podge glue. So rinse this off really good. Maybe some paper towels would be helpful if you need to dry your brush off on some paper towels as well. Um, so I'm gonna start, maybe I'll decorate my pink egg first and your eggs might be different colors than mine too, that's okay. Whatever colors you get, we're gonna cover them up with colorful tissue paper anyways. Um, so I've got my pink egg that I'm gonna start with, my tissue paper squares. Open this up, I've got a few different colors in here. Looks like yellow, pink, and blue, so you can use any combination of these today, all of them, or just some of them, up to you. You might not end up using them all either. If you have extras, you can save them for a different project. Um, Mod Podge, super awesome stuff. I use this all the time for collage projects. Um, it's basically a glue that's really thin. It's almost like water, but it dries like a very clear plastic protective cover almost. It usually comes in a container that looks like this, right? I'll hold it up to the camera. Um, so a little bit goes a long way. That's what I'll say about Mod Podge. Um, the nice thing about it is that if you do get it on your fingers, which we probably will, we are going to get messy, um, you can just rub your hands together and it will flake right off, okay? So I still have a little bit of green left here. Ooh, and my paintbrush. Dry, dry, dry. All right, 
So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And on my egg, I'm going to do a very thin, even layer. So dip it in like this, spread it across nice and even. And then I can pick out a square. I'm going to start with my blue and lay it right on top. And I'm just going to do a little bit at a time here. Dip my brush in again, and I'm going to put one really nice thin layer over the top. This helps it super duper stay. Okay, not going to come off at all. Like that. And then I'm going to keep moving around my egg. So maybe next to it, I'm going to do, maybe I'll make a pattern today with mine. I'll do blue, yellow. And then put a thin layer over the top. Okay. And then turn it again. You can still see I have a little bit of that green hiding in my paintbrush. <laughs> Oopsies. That's okay. And then again, a nice thin layer. So I'm moving very quickly. You guys can definitely take your time with this step. Think about how you want to do your eggs. All right, so I've pretty much gone all around the sides of my egg. I think since I've got a little bit of space hiding here on my egg on the top and on the bottom, I'm gonna put one more piece on both those sides, which means I have to hold the really messy gluey part. <laughs> That's okay. Can always wash our hands in between steps today. Um, hmm, maybe this time I'll put pink on top. like this, and then a thin layer over the top. Looking so cool and messy. And now I've got one more space on the top to cover up. Awesome. So this is how I'm gonna go ahead and do each of my eggs. I have three of them. If you have extra eggs at home, maybe left over from um, Easter, you could decorate other ones too. I've seen some really big plastic eggs that look like they could be really fun to decorate. Voila! Okay, so I'm gonna have to let this dry, right? And then I would do my other eggs while um, these are drying. Okay, so take a little time, let those dry. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, now's a good time to hit like and subscribe below. Um, you can purchase this art kit through the link below. Follow my website. You can find me on Instagram and on Facebook and message me if you'd like to buy it directly from me as well, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna clean up my fingers and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the next step to this process. <laughs> Right, you guys my hands are mostly clean I'm ready to move on to the next part which is making the nest for our bird um, in the bottom of your kit you guys are going to find two big brown sheets of paper and we're going to use both of these to make the nest today uh, what I'm going to do is actually I need to clear a little space here okay if I start on the edge right here um, of my paper the corner I'm going to roll it lengthwise so that these two points are the furthest apart so what I mean by that is I'm going to take the end and start to crumple it up like this. See, I'm still keeping both ends of the paper far apart. Okay. Maybe I even want to roll it a little bit and twist it, make it nice and crinkly. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing to my second piece so that I have two of the exact same size. So same thing, having my furthest corners apart. I'm going to crinkle it up and crinkle it up. Okay, so now I have two long pieces, right? Same size. Um, what I'm going to do is put the ends together and basically try and tie them, almost making like a loop. Okay, just like that, how they kind of twisted together. 
at that spot where they twist together, this is when I'm gonna use those brown pipe cleaners. So if I take a brown pipe cleaner and right at that space where those two sort of meet now, I'm gonna wrap my pipe cleaner around it really tight. Get as close to that paper as you can. Whoop, there we go. Right, I'm pinching it nice and firm. And then twist it up, okay? The cool thing about using brown pipe cleaners is they look like twigs or sticks on your bird's nest. So now I can take these extra little pieces and kind of wrap them around any sort of loose ends of paper that are still kind of sticking up like that, okay? Now, same thing on the other side. I'm gonna fold my other two ends together, give them a little twist, okay, like that. And then I'll grab one more of those pipe cleaners and do that on the other side too so that these two points stay together. Whoop. And what an easy bird's nest. I love collecting bird's nests. I actually have like four or five of them um, because they're so cool to find. They have straw, they have hay and twigs and feathers and garbage and all sorts of stuff that they find, right? Flowers. All right, here's what my nests look like. Yours might look a little bit different depending on how you folded your paper, but in general, this is how I would make mine. Now, my grass is also almost dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this right on top. This is where my little birds live. Okay, once those eggs are done, right, and they dry, they'll dry clear like this one, and I'll hold it up here so you guys can see. Doesn't that look kind of cool? Just so many different colors once it dries. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set my eggs in. Mine are still drying a little bit, so I'll just have to be kind of careful. Okay, that wanna live right on top. The last part of this project is to make our little bird. So I'm gonna grab my little foam bird here. He got a little crinkly inside the box. So I'll have to be careful. Um, but with this, I'm actually going to switch over to my tacky glue now, right? You guys have a small container of this tacky glue. Um, and the reason that I'm gonna use this instead of the Mod Podge is that it dries faster. Um, so if I wanna move my bird around, right, or like stick it inside of my nest, the tacky glue is gonna dry faster on the feathers than the Mod Podge would. So I'm gonna open this up a little bit. And I'm gonna use my paintbrush and put a dab of tacky glue anywhere that I wanna add my feathers, which I think I want to add some tail feathers to this little chicky. A little bit more, nice and thick. Okay, voila, again, a little goes a long way. I have all this extra glue, I'm gonna make sure to cap it up nice and tight so it doesn't dry out. And then I can put my feathers on. Since I have a blue bird, I tried to find all my blue feathers inside of my kit so that I have a little spring blue bird. And I'm gonna do a pattern with these. Dark blue, light blue, dark blue. Okay, oh, cute. Again, just rub your fingers together to get this glue off because it is sticky, it's so sticky. All right, googly eyes. These are actually just stickers. So if you can get your fingernail underneath a piece of paper, they will peel right off. Ooh, there's one, ta-da. One eye, I kind of like that mine are different sizes actually, this is really cute. Peel the other one off and stick this one on. And then lastly, remember how I said you might wanna use some markers? Um, I am actually going to use my markers for this next part. I've got an orange, um, just permanent marker here. I'm gonna change the color of my bird's beak to more of an orange color. And again, this might show up a little bit different on my blue than it did on my yellow bird. And maybe orange feet too. All right. And then maybe the last couple of things is a big wing. My little chicky can fly. Uh, maybe eyelashes or eyebrows. <laughs> Okay, it's really up to you. You can draw any kind of feathers you want, whatever you think is gonna look good, okay? Now that my bird is done, I can stick it inside of my nest. Um, and then, of course, I do have a couple last things, which are those awesome stickers. I love these. Um, with these, all you have to do is peel the back off and then they'll stick anywhere. You can put them on the side of your nest like this and kind of stick them to that brown paper. Okay, maybe I want to put one on the grass. It's growing. Peel it off, stick it on. 
Um, I noticed there are also some Easter things in here as well. So if you guys celebrate Easter this month, you can use your little bunny. Um, I think there's like a little lamb in here too. There's other little flowers and other eggs. Maybe I want to add a couple extra eggs to my, my bird's nest here. So I'll peel it off and stick it in. Okay, look how cute that turns out. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I hope you have fun with this project. Um, if you watch this video before purchasing the kit, don't worry about it. You can click on the link below. Um, buy your kit today. This is the month of April. So for the whole month, I'm selling this kit. Um, you guys can order at any time until the last week of April, of course. Um, and then remember that I'm also doing monthly art kit subscriptions now. So if you like this kit and you want to get a kit like this every month, Projects will be different, supplies will be different. You can sign up for six months at a time or 12 months at a time, um, or you can just pick and choose and buy one whenever you like one, okay? So like and subscribe, click on the link below. Thanks for watching today, you guys, um, and have fun with your projects. Mm -hmm.